everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm Sue. Thank you so very much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. So a while back we did a song uh, by the Ramones and uh, we had a lot of people who were really into early punk music or punk music in general really come by and say how influential the Ramones have been and how much they really enjoyed them. And I really enjoyed them. I remember seeing them once before and it was an absolute blast to see them. And I had a subscriber named Richard who was very influenced by them and said that he absolutely loved the Ramones and if I liked the Ramones I should check out a band called The Dictators. I've never heard of The Dictators before but I thought you know they're probably another kind of early punk band so I'll be more than happy to check them out. And he told me to do a song or at least I thought it was a song called um, Go Girl Crazy I think it was called but I found out that that was actually not a song because I searched and searched for this and I couldn't find it and it turned out it was the name of an album so I looked up the album tracks and I didn't know any of them and I just picked one so I pick, I'm picking one and today we're going to look at the dictators doing a song called California Sun I don't know this song I don't know anything by the dictators I'm assuming it's going to be like early punk music but I could be wrong so anyway, let's get into it. We're going to do some dictators. Here we go. And if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel, that would be fantastic. Here we go. California Sun. Oh, it's got a surf, that surf punk sound. Those drums. <laughs> That's that early punk guitar sound. I love it. Oh, well, I'm going out west where I belong. Oh, well, the days are short. Okay, this is a cover version. I have heard this song before, but I don't know. I've never heard the Dictator's version of this song. And um, I can't, for the life of me, remember who did the original version of the song, or at least the version that I know of the song. So if anybody knows um, the version that maybe I'm thinking of, the real famous version of California Sun, put it down in the comments. But so far, I'm loving this. I loved the drums at the beginning. I love that surf kind of punk sound that they had. Uh, it was absolutely great. And that very early punk sounding guitar that is unmistakable. I absolutely love that sound. So far, I'm really enjoying it. So I can't wait to hear the rest of the song. Well, I'm going out west down on the coast Oh, yeah, the center of the chicks, man, the real most Oh, whoa, 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 well, I jerk And I jerk And I monkey And I monkey And I fruit And I fruit And I fruit And I fruit Well, the girls are frisky and oh, Frisco. Yeah, pretty little chick, man, wherever I go. Oh, whoa, 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 well, I'm mouse. And I'm mouse. And I'm robot. And I'm robot. And I twist. And I twist. And I shift my poop And I what? Well, I'm out there having fun. In the warm California sun. Well, I'm out there having fun In the warm California 
Oh, I love that. Oh, there's just something about early punk, like 1970s punk or 1960s guitar, um, garage kind of sounding music, which is like a precursor for early punk. I just love it. It's so fun. It's, it's just, it doesn't take itself too seriously and uh, it's just a great beat and you just can't help but want to move around. Anyway, that was a blast. I would love to do more of the Dictators. I, I, like I said, I didn't know anything about them. So maybe you can put down in the comments and give me some very specific songs that I could play by the Dictators because like I said, I just guessed. I kind of just went, I don't know any of these and I clicked on one because I thought the, the Go Girl Crazy was the name of the song when I first read it. Anyway, that was an absolute blast. I loved, loved, loved that. If anyone can explain, there was the, on the album cover, there was a jacket and, uh, and it had, um, I forget what it said now, but it had something to do with Manitoba and it had a outline of the province of Manitoba. For those of you who do not live in Canada, uh, Manitoba is a province in Canada and, uh, it's right next to the province that I live in. And I don't know what the exact reasoning that this guy has a picture of Manitoba on the back of that glitter glitter coat uh, with something about Dick Manitoba. I don't know. Anyway, if anybody knows any information about that particular jacket and why he has that on there, I would love to know that because from what I understand, they are a U.S. band. So uh, it's not, I don't think they're from Manitoba. Anyway, that was a riot. I absolutely love that. Uh, here's my fun fact for the day. There were two guys and they were named uh, John Holstrom and Legs McNeil. And they were the ones who actually started the magazine Punk that was around for three, four years in the mid to late 70s. And it really focused on punk music and all that was happening. And it was a real great kind of magazine for, for its time and, and for the genre of punk. But the interesting thing is that these two guys actually started that magazine just so that they could hang around with the band The Dictators. So that's some serious fandom right there if you're willing to start up an entire magazine just so that you can hang out with your favorite band. I thought that was pretty cool. Anyway, I'd love to do more punk music. I would love to do more old punk music. Especially the dictators, we'll do them. But if there's anything else, put it down in the comments. I am more than happy to do it. I'm always a big fan of some punk music, especially the 1970s punk. All right, everybody, have a joyful day, and I will see you all again next time. Bye-bye.